Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to sync your video with your music. It will look something like this. Okay, so that was a quick preview of what we're going to look at today. What you want to do is grab your clip, and this is what mine is now. Okay, so as you could hear, there's um, a bit of drum in the background, like that, and that's what I want to be uh, syncing my shots to. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to start at your um, on your timeline, and you want to zoom in. And what we're going to do is use the M key every time it lands on a beat. So um, the M key basically marks it out like that. So I'll just get rid of that. So if you play it through, um, this is probably one of the easier ways to do it. Just play it through and press M as soon as you hear it. Um, if not, you can zoom it in and can, you can just basically see where the beats are. So like that. But I'm just going to listen to it now. like that. So I've got about four beats because I've got four shots. And what you want to do is obviously grab your clip. Um, I've just moved this a bit forward like that. So the shot will just land on there. Right, okay. So obviously here's my clip here. And um, what you want to do is you want to match up the shot of, uh, obviously the first shot with the first beat. So ways that you can do this, um, I'm just going to move it um, out just so it matches it uh, straight away on that, just so they'll match that first part. Right, um, what you want to do is create a uh, audio track underneath. Um, this is where obviously the video track will be. And what I've done is I've uh, cut out one of the shots, so basically the shot of the gun. Um, and every time, obviously, you hear a beat, you put the shot of the gun on it, and it will sound something like this like that just trim it down and so on so it should sound a little bit better if you just turn down the volume and it'll happen again but what I want to do as you can see when there's a beat there will be no shot so what you then want to do if you want to grab part of your clip like that you want to split it by pressing the S key go across a bit uh, I'll probably say to about there split it again and what you want to do is you want to hold control and you drag it back so you're shortening that part there and um, what we'll do is we find the next shot which is about there I'm not far off there so we want to have that point there on this shot uh, on the beat here so if I'll just drag this back not far off at all so we'll just need to basically cut this down a little bit more like that by holding control and that's still still not that far off so just trim it down again a little bit like that that's perfect so um, once you've done that um, you can obviously put your sound there again and it should sound a little better but you want to choose some better gun sounds than what I have and then obviously I've got another beat there I want to match this one up and this one might be a little bit out so as you can see the hit marker was there and the beat is further on so what you can do for this is you can either stretch out the video or you can actually use Twixter um, what I might do is because it's actually not too far away where the gunshot is I might get away with just um, holding control and dragging the clip out so I'm gonna uh, click on my uh, my video, hit split by pressing the S key, and I'll probably go something like that, um, and we'll see where my shot is. It's about there, one in, about there. So actually, it won't be far off there. Just match this up like that. Is that in? there we are so basically out on that beat is where the shot is so obviously we've got this clip here it's shortened and then you'd have a blackout area where obviously there's no clip to stretch that clip out you hold control you can drag it out 
and usually with my Elgato you see it's blurred if you right click on it you go on switches and hit disable resample it obviously unblurs it there and it will slow it down and it'll be just in time if I just paste that be just in time with the music then so that's that part usually if a beat is really far out what you can then do is use Twixter this one isn't too far out so there is where I get the shot and I want to match it up with the beat so what I'll do is I'll crop a bit further back so I'll press split and I'll have it about there and I'll drag this clip out to where the shot will most likely be about there so I was just one frame out so go back a frame like that and again you just hold control and drag it out like that and um, what you can then do again is disable resample a video if you need to that is the basic part of it um, obviously of the syncing just put this over here right if I just turn down this and turn up the volume you might be able to hear this now so this is all synced up like that what I, uh, like I said before um, if there is a beat that's really far out and you want to basically um, you want to twixter it so I can show you a preview of that now basically what I've done is I have gone quite far through the timeline to find another beat so it's about there I hit mark and what I want to do is basically get this next shot one I actually miss to go over there on that beat ways that you can do this again is just splitting your clip and you want to find the best place to twixter so I'll probably twixter that part there so drag and drop this uh, well drag this over here to where the shot will be still a bit further out so like I said I missed this shot so that that shot was like that drag it forwards a bit there so I missed that shot there and as you can see you can see where the little glow is where I've actually missed it so this part I'm gonna add the twixter so it will basically drag out this rather than holding control and dragging it out because it won't go any further uh, so with this you have got to add the twixter so I go on twixter pro and I have a default I have done a twixter setting video and I'll add that into the description so my speeds on two so I'm just gonna drag this out and just see if this will match up if not then I'm gonna obviously have to play about with it if I add the quality down to so as you can see that you may have to change the speed of the twixter uh, so with this what I'll do is I'll put it up to about five it's a matter of trial and error with this um, you will soon get it but like I said it's a matter of trial of error and it does look good once it's fully done so I'm a little bit off so I'll probably have it on 8 like that so that that's basically I look a lot better now and you've got the shot there that I missed uh, again just add the sound then and that's pretty much it so you've got the twixer in on a beat that's really far away and you want to obviously still sync that up and you've got these short beats here that are close together where you can just literally hold control and um, obviously stretch it out or shorten it whatever you want to do so that's everything guys and um, that's it for today's tutorial that's obviously the Sony Vegas uh, marathon um, any questions any tutorials you want me to do I'll do them just ask me this was a request so obviously I've done it um, but that's it for today guys thanks for watching I'll catch